Welcome to another episode of 12 Volt Tricks. Today we're working on a 2008 Dodge Ram and we're doing a simple head unit replacement, but it requires a cut. So let me show you what so I So this is our stock head unit, obviously. I'm sure we've all seen them before. And uh, we're actually putting in a double din Pioneer head unit. As you saw in the thumbnail, that's the head unit that we're using. So I'll show you the processes required to do that. So now that we have the radio bezel removed, you can actually see that this is actually quite an easy job. There's not any serious modifications required. We're gonna remove the radio, obviously, and remove this pocket down below, which is going to give us enough room for our Pioneer doubled in. So this is what the radio bezel looks like outside of the truck. This is the section that needs to be removed, but there's a, a really cool way of making sure you make the cut right. Best Kits makes a, a dash kit that comes with a cut template. The BKCDK651 comes with a cut template that shows you exactly what parts of the dash need to be removed. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like here as soon as I have it mounted. This is the dash kit that will be used in the finished product, but also included with this kit is this trim ring right here, like I said before, which gives you the, the exact dimensions that need to be cut out of the radio bezel to allow for that dash kit to sit in there properly. So I'll get that mounted up and I'll show you how that looks. So this is what it looks like with the trim plate in place. And as you can see, there's a couple of corners that need to be removed. This all needs to be removed down here and this other corner here. So this is the exact cutout that is required to allow for this dash kit to sit in there properly. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you the finished product. And this is what the finished product looks like after the cut has been made. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clean up these cut edges a little bit so that it's not so rough looking and then I'll install the dash kit. And that's what our finished product looks like with the dash kit mounted and the edges were all cleaned up and everything looks good, so we're ready to go. Uh, one more thing I have to do before I'm done with this dash bezel is I need to install a USB in one of these plugs and I haven't decided which one yet. Uh, probably gonna be this one. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we're all finished with the dash bezel now. As you can see, we decided to go on the closer to the driver for our USB port, we just removed that, that power plug. He still has the other one over here and dash kit installed. And we're all ready to start putting the new radio in. Harness built, USB ready to go. I gotta run the Bluetooth mic. Uh, dash kit has been, or the mounting brackets have been mounted to the head unit and uh, we're ready to assemble this into the truck. And just in case you wanted to see the cavity that houses the radio after the factory radio and the pocket have been removed, that's what it looks like. So we'll be routing our USB down here to come out and plug in right about here. And yeah, so I'm gonna start reassembling. And of course, here we are with our finished product. So everything looks smooth and clean and looks great. And here's our USB that is connected to the back of the radio, which allows the customer to plug in for CarPlay or Android Auto. So another happy customer rolling down the road. And that pretty well wraps up this job. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 